Welcome to Cooking with Dr. K, where I teach you how to incorporate healthy foods that support your body's natural ability to detox and your body's natural detoxification systems with simple, easy recipes that take no time and get really healthy, colorful foods into your nutrition. I am Dr. Kirsten Lauritsen, and today I'm teaching you how to roast sweet potatoes. Uh, that was my oven. What you're gonna do, first step, whenever you start roasting sweet potatoes, you wanna turn your oven on. So I have it to 425 degrees, and I have cut, I've washed my sweet potatoes because I'm gonna leave the skin on, and then I have cut them in half. One of the reasons why sweet potatoes are so awesome is because they have a lot of vitamin A, and that's what makes them turn orange. It's that beta carotene that is really helpful for your skin and for your eyes, and there's a lot of other reasons why we want vitamin A. Sweet potatoes are also high in vitamin C and potassium and, of course, fiber. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do something simple, which is just to learn how to roast sweet potatoes. So um, I've cut them in half, and now what I'm going to do is cut them kind of into thirds after that. And just get them diced up. I'm not being too crazy about my knife cuts. I'm not really that worried about it for this. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm prepping these for my Instant Pot Chili. And then what I'm also doing is prepping some for breakfast and probably some leftovers for that chili as well. So yeah, we're just dicing them up and then we're getting them onto our pan. I'm leaving them fairly thick because for, especially for the chili, um, I don't want them to be super duper skinny and thin. So I want some meat to them. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Now one of the benefits of sweet potatoes is because they have more nutrition than white potatoes, they often are just a little bit, they're just different. They're different for the body. And you always wanna be getting a lot of different colors because that's where you're gonna get a lot of nutrition. Now they do still spike blood sugar and they are kind of high on the glycemic index just like white potatoes, but you're gonna be also getting some more nutrition in there too. One of the best ways actually to get the beta carotene and vitamin A out of sweet potatoes is actually to boil them. When you roast them or bake them, they lose some of that beta carotene as well as your ability, your body's ability to act to absorb it. So it's best if you were to boil them. However, so like mashed sweet potatoes, yum. Um, but for today, I'm still just gonna roast them. So I'm just gonna finish this up here. And then what we're going to do is take some avocado oil and some salt and pepper and get these roasting. Now another recipe that I will do too, and actually what I might do to these because I don't, I won't mind and actually will go really well with the, I'll throw two recipes up on the blog. One will just be for simply roasting sweet potatoes so that they just don't have really any flavor. They just have salt and, um, and all, like avocado oil on them and that's about it. But one thing, one also another recipe that I'll throw up there that would be really good also with the chili is to put a little bit of um, cayenne pepper, which I just realized I'm out of, uh, but you put cayenne pepper and also cinnamon on top. And that is really good. So, and that would actually be good with the chili as well. It would kind of balance out and give it some more flavor depth. So I will probably do that. I just have to find a substitution for the cayenne pepper. <clears throat> okay, so, and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a second baking sheet. So I had four sweet potatoes and um, what you don't want is overcrowding. So I'm gonna show you how this looks here. Um, basically what happens with this is instead of roasting, they kind of steam themselves. <laughs> and um, if they're just too densely packed together, they, um, it just, it, I prefer to have them, to give them a little space, a little room to do their thing. They seem to roast a bit better. So let me just pull that out. Let me get rid of this. So I have that and then I'm going to grab 
my salt and avocado oil, and also I'm also grabbing some cinnamon. Okay, so I'll take some of these. There we go. That's way more spread out now. This kind of goes for most veggies. If you're trying to roast them and if you're crowding them on the pan, they usually won't, they'll more steam and they won't really roast very well. It's just a simple observation that I've made. I don't know if that's actually a chef thing or not. <laughs> okay, awesome. So I'm just putting some avocado oil here. And what you also want to do too is mix them all up because the ones that are laying down and against this surface aren't going to be coated in um, avocado oil and so then they like to stick. Now, another thing that you can do too if you really want to make sure that these get evenly coated is you can put them in a bowl and then put them out on the baking sheets. I'm saving time and I'm also saving another dish. So I'm just going to get these sprinkled with some salt. And this is Himalayan pink salt that I'm using. Awesome. And then some cinnamon. And it's probably a couple of tablespoons per. Yeah, dish. Perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is mix that all together. And probably coat with just a little bit more olive oil because the thing is that you do want them to roast and brown, but you don't want them to stick. That's really not fun when they all don't come up off your pan. And then half of your sweet potatoes end up staying on your pan and nobody likes that. Okay. So again, I would probably put some cayenne pepper on here, but I am out of that but it will give it a little bit of a spice. I mean, for people who don't really like spice, then obviously you can omit it, but you can leave, you can leave that out. But I'm gonna just drizzle this with a little bit more of that avocado oil. And the reason why we're using avocado oil is because it is uh, a lot better at high heat. So one of the issues with oils, and depending on the ones that you cook with, is that if they are, so like olive oil, for example, is actually much better at lower heats and it's better if you do it raw, like on salads, things like coconut oil and avocado oil are better at higher heats, meaning they don't go rancid until a higher heat threshold. So, and I will link a blog to this below that talks, that I wrote about different oils and different fats and what we should cook with and which ones are healthier, which ones are a little less healthier. Things like canola oil, vegetable oil, and even your light processed olive oils are actually taken to their highest heat and they're more or less rancid. And that's why their high heat point is so high. So for example, vegetable oil, peanut oil, when you have stuff fried in those, it's usually already been past its high heat, so it has a, a very, very high tolerance for as hot as you want to get it. The problem with that, though, is that that creates things like reactive oxygen species and free radicals in our system and AGEs, which are advanced glyc glycolation end products, and those cause a lot of issues in our cells and they can cause damage. And so that's kind of one of the reasons why when you eat healthier and you choose better oils, things like that, first off, you're gonna be getting a lot better fats. So omega-3s, maybe even omega-6s and omega-9s, you really want a good profile on those. You're also though gonna be avoiding some negative aspects of what can happen when we heat oils at a certain temperature that they're not supposed to be at. So I'm gonna throw these in for probably a good 25 to 30 minutes. I want them to really roast up. I'll probably pull them out 15 to 20 minutes, turn them over and then stick them back in for a bit longer. And then I will show you what they look like when they come out.
So I've pulled the sweet potatoes out of the oven. They are done, they're crispy and roasted. So that's it. All you have to do now is spoon them into your bowls and your to-go containers and leftover containers so that you can make them for breakfast or whatever else you're wanting to meal prep your sweet potatoes for. It really is that simple. I put it in there for 30 minutes and that's it. One great way to get more vitamin A into your system. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Cooking Show with Dr. K. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Dr. Kirsten. And also, if you like these videos, one of the best resources for you to make sure that you don't miss any episodes is to go to my website at jimcall.com slash blog and hop onto the email list. You get this video to, straight to your inbox plus the recipe. So it's really easy. You can watch the video and then get the recipe in your inbox and you're good to go. Okay, you guys have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you next time for the next cooking show with Dr. K.